now it's time you, you know it's your boy big rob back again with another fucking video MMA, baby. MMA talk with your boy, Big Rob. Or your bitch slob in the fucking eye. UFC 210, it's here. What up, fight fans? You know, here we go. UFC 210. Um, first fight we got. I'm going with Myers Jury over Mike the De La Torre. Um, Jury's coming off two losses. Um, decision off for Savoni and a submission off for Charles Oliveira. Dilo Hoy, I, sorry if I get the name messed up. He's coming off a loss from, uh, Castro submission. Um, I'm going with Joy. I, uh, I think he gets back to his game, do what he does best. He's actually a good fighter. I, I, it happens. I mean, and that was his uh, first two losses too, right back to back. So um, I'm going with Drury on this one. Second fight is uh, and no, these aren't in order probably, but I'm just going off my list and stuff. So uh, yeah, and they're the right fights this time. Uh, but um. It's just how I have my list, and I'm going off the show dog thing. And um, like I said, I double-checked on MMA Junkie and UFC to make sure it was the right fights this time. So uh, Gregory Galepsi against Andrew Holbrook. Um, I seen Galepsi. I I'm pretty sure I've seen him. He's undefeated. Um, you know, there's a lot of fucking fights. So, I go back sometimes and watch some footage and stuff, too. So, um, he's going against Andrew Holbrook. I seen Holbrook at, in Chicago one year when I went. Um, I'm going to go with Holbrook on this one. Third fight I got is uh, Desmond Green against Josh Emmett. Seen both of these fighters. I actually heard of Desmond uh, Green on uh, uh, my uh, buddy... Miguel, Mike, and Bobby's uh, podcast, um, Brain and Braun. Um, I think I said that right, or flip-flop it. I might reverse it. Sorry, guys, if I said it backwards. But um, go check them out on Podbean. Um, great podcast. Um, and he had, they had Desmond Green on there, and I listened to him, and I looked his fight chart. And the dude's just an animal. He's a beast. He's a he's a cool guy. I actually messaged him on Facebook. He added me back. Back. I'm like, thanks for that. Good luck, man. And stuff like that. Um, it sounds like a humble guy, down to business. Um, but watching the fight, so <coughs> I had to throw out my dipski. Um, but, um, yeah, um, Josh Hammett, he's a beast, too. I mean, Desmond Green's making his debut, and yeah, sometimes debut fighters don't do well. Sometimes they do, though, but I think Desmond Green is ready. I think he's, um, I think he's gonna, um, come out, you know, push that pace. Um, just wanna make sure, yeah, it is his debut, okay. And, um, I think he's going to give Emmett a war. Emmett's undefeated. Um, and, um, let's see. I think this is Emmett's. It's, I know it's not his debut. He, hold on, girl. Wi-Fi is kind of slow right now. Here we go. This is his second fight. He beat John Tuck in decision, and he beat Scott Holzman decision. 
And I remember seeing them fight. But, um... <coughs> I'm gonna go with, uh... Green, man. I think he set the pace. I think he's gonna put pressure on him. As I watched on his, uh... Uh, some of his videos. So I'm going with Desmond Green on this one. Fourth fight. I'm going with, uh, Diego... Elves against Patrick Cote. Um, this is actually a tough pick, in my opinion. I could see it going in uh, either way. I mean, um, they're both decent on the ground. They got good stand-up. But I'm going with Elves because, um, I mean, I think Cote's chin's kind of eh. Um, but, I mean, Elves, he's kind of eh. But, um, I think he's gonna get it done. I easily could see this being Friday night. Three fucking rounds. Going the distance. Just each guy going for blood. So, I think it's gonna be good. I can't wait. Fifth fight, I'm going with, uh... Kamur Usman. Usman. Against Sean Strickland. Again, another good, tough fight. Um... They're both on win streaks. Um, I, I'm going with Usman, Usman on this one. Um, sixth fight. And again, these aren't in order. Just the way how my picks are. Um, and again, I'm, I'm not picking the whole card. I have ten picks though. But um, my sixth pick is... Um, Caitlin Chokian against Irene Erdana. I'm sorry, I tried the best with these names. Um, Choka, um, Caitlin, she's coming off a decision win against, uh, um, I just seen it. Uh, yeah, no, actually she lost. Liz, uh, Camacho. And, um, Irene, uh, she is coming off a decision loss against Leslie Smith. Um, you know, I've seen both of them. But I'm going to go with Caitlin on this one. Seventh pick of the night, I got Charles Oliveira against Real Brooks. Um, Real Brooks is coming off that uh, loss against Alex Oliveira. Um, Oliveira, like, fucked him up. I remember that fight. Um, Charles Oliveira, he is coming off two losses, uh, Pettis submission and Lama submission. Um, I think he gets it back together, and I think he actually submits Real Brooks on the ground. So, uh, yeah, so be an interesting fight. Um, looking forward to this card. I think a lot of fights, some of them, you know, uh, could go either way with some of my picks. Um, the Cote Elves and the Green and Amit and, um, the, uh, Oliveira and Brooks are my three picks that aren't locks, I, I should say. So, um, yeah, I'm going with Charles Oliveira. My eighth pick, I got, uh, Jan Blackowitz against Patrick Cummins. Um, you know, Cummins is coming off, um, those two losses against, um, Glover and, uh, no, Nigeria TKO. And, um, Blackowitz, he's coming off a decision against Gutsison. I think Blackowitz knocks him out, TKOs him, um, maybe late in the second, early in the third. My ninth pick, um, co-main event, Gerard Musashi against Chris Reidman. I'm on with Musashi on this. Um, I think Reidman, you know, I've never been sold on Reidman. I mean, he's decent, don't get me wrong. I just think he was good, of good timing. Um, and Musashi, man, he's coming up. I think, I mean, he was always good. But this is, I think, the best we've seen him. Um, I've been watching the Embeddage. I watched the Embeddage and then UFC Snapchats with the open workouts and shit. 
Um, and to me, sometimes it don't mean nothing because it's on camera and stuff, and it's for show. But um, Musashi, I mean, he looks more focused, though. He looks cut up. He looks in shape. Um, he looks disciplined, as his, one of his coaches said. He just, he looks like he's ready, and he's ready for that belt, that next step. So, um, I think he's going to go with, on, uh, I got him over Weidman. Um, I think he could TKO, knock him out, uh, second, early, third. Um, Weidman is probably going to try to wrestle with them, but I think Musashi's going to have a good, uh, game plan. Um, stay distant from him, use his good kickboxing skills, and, uh, even if it goes in decision, I think he should get it. Main event for the light heavyweight championship. My 10th pick, I got Rumble Johnson over DC. I both like these guys, and all you guys know, I try not to get biased with my picks, but I'm going with Rumble on this one. I won't... I won't be surprised if DC wins, but I think Rumble is, he's going to be patient with them. And if he does land, I think he's going to jump on top of him with no hesitation and just get it over with. But he's going to kind of stay that distance from him because he knows. I mean, you know, he's in his... He, he, yes, he defended a takedown from Vader, but Vader shot across the fucking ring. You don't do that. And DC's one of the best wrestlers in the game. He manhandled Dan Henderson. He, he's he's good. And his stand-up's decent. His chin's weak. But, again, we don't know how good Rumble Johnson cardio is either. So if he starts gassing in the second again and quits, DC's going to manhandle him again. So it's going to be an interesting fight. I could see it going either way. Um, I know this Johnson's working on his kicks too. So if he, if he's, I would say maybe his game plan is to kick DC in the gut a little bit. And if he do that, that might help him win too. Open some shots up better. But um, it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be, I want to say a boring, boring fight. And maybe not. An exciting, exciting fight. Maybe average. Because, like I said, I think the first round might be a little patient. Both guys might feel each other out still. But um, I do not think it's going to be like um, Wonder Boy and Woodley. That's for sure. But it's just, that happens. But, yeah, I'm going with Rumble on this one. Um, Let me know what your guys' picks are. Hope you enjoy these vi videos. And, um... Let the fights begin, UFC 210, baby.